Well, a retired Plano police detective is alive thanks to a new heart. He desperately needed a transplant after 19 heart attacks. And Shannon is here with an update on Kevin Lopez, a man that uh, we've been following all along. Yeah, and a lot of people online have also been following his journey. They've done a good job of documenting everything and keeping people posted. And, you know, people were really rooting for him and hoping he'd get off the wait list. Yeah. You know, we first brought you Kevin's story last spring as he waited for that heart transplant. Now with a new heart. He's ready to move forward, but first he had the chance to say goodbye to his old one. Wrapped up, sitting on a table. You know what this is? At Baylor Scott and White Heart and Vascular Hospital in Dallas. Um, it was my heart, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you ready to look at it? Yes, sir. It's the heart that endured 19 heart attacks and forced Kevin Lopez into early retirement from the Plano Police Department. That thing helped me through so many things. It, it's amazing that it made it this long. A defibrillator kept him alive, sending a shock every time he went into cardiac arrest. It's been a long road, very long road. After months on a wait list, he now has someone else's heart. At first it was a little rocky, just with the recovery and had some issues with uh, uh, my wounds opening up and getting infected and then I ended up getting COVID while I was in the hospital. The healing process has been challenging physically and emotionally. There's a little bit of guilt you know that, that somebody had to pass for me to get my heart um there's a lot of gratitude there's you know just so many questions you know it's it's a surreal feeling holding his heart in his hands is part of that healing it's like getting t to thank it and say goodbye to it properly i was 10 when he had his first heart attack i'm 20 i'm about to be 28 now i'm forever grateful to that heart the transplant gives him more time with his children, his daughter Nicole and his son, 13-year-old Lucas. That's something that I didn't think I was going to have and, and I wasn't really planning on it because of the way things were going. I planned more for death than I did for living. A new heart and a new beginning. And now it's, it's beautiful. I see a future. Again. And the Lopez family has been sharing their journey online, holding fundraisers to help cover all of those medical expenses over the years. And we have a link to all of that on fox4news.com. Um, so I, I'm like brought a tear to I've seen this already. Right, <laughs> right. Right. Still just hearing it, but you know, you're you, really rooting for him and his family. And yeah. he's just so thankful. I mean, I think that's the big thing. Uh, so like what happens next? What's what? what well, he go? right now they're just focused on his health. The pathologist, Dr. William Roberts, you saw there in the video, was really emphasizing, you know, the health and diet, 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 diet. You know, he's got to be on a very strict low carb diet uh, yeah. to keep his weight down and make yeah. sure he's caring for that new heart so that right. uh, nothing else happens in the future. And that's really the most important thing for him right now. And it's, it's kind of funny in the video, he kept telling the doctor like, oh, yeah, I'm going to work out. I'm going to work out. And the doctor said, no, 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 not about working out. It's about cutting the calories and yeah, bringing down yeah. your weight. So it's, yeah. you know, they're really serious about it. And, and he really um, instilled that in him in that meeting. Oh, well, second chance. Yep. Here you go. Yeah.